Now to a task many of us do on a weekly, if not daily basis, talking about the laundry, but is a standard wash good enough right now as we're battling COVID and the beginning of cold and flu season. The University of Arizona has just teamed up with laundry and sanitation experts to sort out some of the dirty details. So Kylie is live this morning with some tips on how you can uh, keep your co clothes clean from cold, flu, COVID, and everything else that we're dealing with. Grass stains too, Kylie. <laughs> Oh, grass stains. You know, I'm not used to grass stains, but I'm sure a lot of moms and dads out there are used to it. Interesting little fact. Did you know the hip area is usually the germiest place in your body? That's because if you're wearing shorts, if you're wearing pants, a lot of us, you know, we wipe our hands, we put our phones in the pocket. So maybe the germs are out there on your clothes and you don't even realize all of the places that they are. So when you go to do your uh, laundry, I've got to wash my Good Morning Arizona polo. I think I've worn it a few times. I'm putting it in the washer, right? I'm closing it. And we wanted to know, okay, do we do hot, warm, semi-warm, cold? What should we be doing with cold and flu season and corona? And the University of Arizona experts have our answer. Mostly you don't need to use high level products like sanitizers or bleach because the coronavirus is killed very easily actually. So just normal wash cycles are very effective for the SARS-CoV-2 virus and other respiratory viruses like your cold and flu viruses. I will say that surprised me a little bit, and that means a cold water wash is fine, they say, because COVID, this is unique. It's an envelope virus with a coating on the outside, and it's not very hardy, and it's usually pretty easy to kill. So we met up with Dr. Kelly Reynolds and Dr. Charles Gerba. They have been studying laundry for decades. They're microbiologists down at the U of A, and the professors say that if you are a healthcare worker, you do need to keep your laundry separate. You also need to wash it separately on the hottest water possible with a good sanitizer and a detergent. But what should we all do about drying? Here's Dr. Gerba's advice. Generally, a, a quick 20 minute dry or so, just so they're dry is good enough for most of your clothing. However, if you're dealing with towels or thick fabric materials uh, or professional clothing, I would dry at least 45 minutes uh, because we know that does a better job of killing the bacteria and viruses. Another interesting thing is that when you're going from washer to dryer, you know, this obviously would be wet if I would have washed it. I put it in the dryer and Dr. Gerba says you need to wash your hands after that because there still sometimes can be residual germs. So really during every process from a hamper to washer, from washer to dryer, washing hands is key. Guys, coming up at seven o'clock, this is interesting. So no endorsement to Tide, but we've got the pods here. We also have the liquid detergent. What is best? Should we be using one over the other? We're gonna have that answer coming up at seven. Plus, this is my hamper. I think I've had this since college for a long time. It is a little bit dirty as I look at it, kind of embarrassing that I'm putting it on TV. But what we were really surprised by is what you should be doing with your hamper. I don't think everybody's doing this. We're gonna tell you how you should clean it regularly mm -hmm. and how that's such an important part of the laundry process coming up, guys. At seven. I love this. It's a great topic. And I was actually just thinking how neat your laundry room looked. So very <laughs> nice, Kylie. Well, there's not much in it. I had to do a little cleaning yesterday <laughs> yeah. to get ready for We the had to move the delegates out of the out of the room and away from the camera. A good call. We'll see you at seven. Thanks. That's gonna be so nice, April. Thank you. How often do you do laundry? Are your clothes, towels, and linens piling up? The household chore is uh, one key way to help keep a sanitary and healthy household, but with the coronavirus and cold and flu season approaching, are we doing it correctly? Kylie is live this morning. She's showing us the dirt and her dirty laundry. Good morning. <laughs> I know this is actually my dirty laundry. I guess I should do this after this live shot. But you know, you researchers down at the University of Arizona, they said there's not a lot of guidance on best practices and that's why they met up with some experts recently to talk about COVID and what you should do. And it's really a process. It's not just the washer and dryer, but it happens, you know, in the kitchen. After you're done with dinner, you've got this all crumpled up. You don't want to put it in your hamper right away. You want to lay it out flat, let it dry. You don't want any uh, germs or uh, moisture to get in that hamper. Same thing if you go and you work out, right? The shirt's a little soiled, it's a little sweaty. Lay it out to dry, uh, let it dry first, and then put it in the hamper. And then maybe a few days later when you go to toss this in the washer, you know, the big question is, well, what should we be doing? Should we be changing how we wash our clothes? I took the laundry list of questions you have down to the experts at U of A. 
It's one of the most dreaded household chores. And then the dryer up, up here. While many of us loathe laundry. I've been studying laundry since the early 90s. These two love it, or at least studying it. There's about one quarter of a peanut of poop in the average pair of underwear of an adult. Dr. Charles Gerba, AKA Dr. Germ, is a microbiologist with the University of Arizona. I was a grad student of Dr. Gerba's. Dr. Kelly Reynolds is now his coworker and fellow laundry expert. COVID has really made us rethink everything we've been doing from a germ protection stance. It starts with the hamper. I have two college kids, so they come home with all of their dirty laundry in their hamper and we wash it up and they want to put that same now clean laundry back into that dirty hamper. And I say, no, you can't do that. Bacteria can grow in your your hamper and multiply. You should always wipe that out with a sanitizing wipe so that whatever germs might have been on your dirty laundry that got in your hamper are no longer there. So once we throw our clothes in the washer, do we need to do anything differently now because of COVID? Regular laundering with cold water and detergents is usually good enough because this virus is fairly easy to kill. It's sensitive to detergents, but what type should we use? Liquid detergent or pods, is there a difference? No long as they have the right ingredients, you know, you're okay. The professors say look for things like deep cleaning and enzyme action. They tend to be a little bit more expensive, but in the long run, they'll keep you safer. They remove more debris from your laundry. They kill more germs. But if someone in your family is a healthcare worker, keep their laundry separate and don't do it with yours. Those clothes should be washed with the hottest water possible, using sanitizers, using high quality detergents. And don't neglect your washing machine. It needs a bath too. Give your washing machine a mouthwash after you're done with all the laundry. Gets rid of anything that might be left and it gets rid of odor causing bacteria. As for drawing, a normal 20 minute cycle should be fine with most items, except. The towels, look how thick they are. And, and really microorganisms uh, get in there and that's why it's really important to dry these well. So you make sure that anything might be left in the inside you kill. Dr. Gerber recommends washing towels for 45 minutes and changing them every three to four days. And don't forget about those face and hand towels in your bathroom because this will gross you out. But three days after a face towel, the bacteria really grow. Really, you would get more E. coli in your face by using a face towel after three or four days than you would by putting your head in a toilet and flushing it. Dr. Reynolds says we should wash our kitchen towels even more often. So people tell me that they only wash their kitchen rags when they start to smell, and that's way too long. You really need to wash them frequently. We recommend using dishcloths only once, you know, just one time washing your dishes and then put that in the laundry. Remember, laundry is a process, but now you have the dirt on how to get rid of germs and keep a clean household. So again, in most cases, those cold water washes will do. So you know now you've got to wash your towels a little bit more, probably twice a week. What about sheets, pillowcases, things like that? They say once a week. But the big thing is, is the contamination. So when you take your stuff from the hamper, you put it into the washer, you put it in from the washer to the dryer, hand washing all the way because there could be some residual germs. One other thing to know, undergarments, they say, those should be washed separately. They also should be washed last. And we're talking a lot about COVID and the coronavirus, obviously, cold and flu. But what if you've got a kid with a stomach bug? This was one interesting thing. When you go to wash and maybe someone in your house has been throwing up has the stomach bug, you want to wash on hot, the hottest water possible in that situation. You also want to use a good sanitizer as well as a strong detergent. Um, to complete that. So that's the dirt on how to do your laundry in the coronavirus age. Some things I learned uh, and some things I think we can all pick up as we change our practices, alter our practices to try to keep that safe and healthy household. Nice tips. I must be weird. I like doing laundry. My only thing is I just throw it all you in. Do? I don't separate the whites. I just throw it all in. Been doing you know, it. I was a little surprised because I was going to ask you, does Lori do most of your laundry? No, so I guess I, we learned I today, do my Scott, own, I he do. contributes to the household. Do you do laundry? No, I do my own laundry. Okay, well, hopefully you follow the advice from the doctors and uh, you keep a clean household this fluid in the cold season. All right, Kylie, thank you.